Hello and welcome back to JB Cooks. I am JB and I enjoy cooking, especially in my cast iron skillet. And in this video, it's another cast iron skillet, but this time for the first time on this YouTube channel, I'm going to be baking a pizza. I'm gonna call it the Supreme Pizza. Put whatever toppings you like, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start off by making um, some pizza dough. So real quickly, let's get that going. So I'm gonna make my pizza dough completely from scratch. Now, if you prefer, you can go ahead and get some pre-made pizza dough and totally skip this step if you'd like. Uh, first, I'm gonna go ahead and put one cup of flour. And I'm gonna put equivalent to one packet of instant uh, yeast. Now, I have an entire bag of it. So if you have an entire bag of it, it's about two and a fourth teaspoons of instant yeast. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Also, I'm gonna put about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. There's one teaspoon. There's a couple of fourths to make that to one half. Also, I like to add just a little bit of, sh uh, not sugar, salt. So I'm gonna add about three fourths of a teaspoon, one, two, and these are all one fourth teaspoon spout uh, pour, so that's three fourths teaspoons of salt. And then what I like to do, and if you don't have this on hand, you don't have to, but if you wanna really uh, flavor up your uh, pizza dough a little bit, go ahead and add about a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. As well as about a fourth teaspoon of some uh, basil leaves. You can add a little more of either one or just one or the other, ever how you'd like to do that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stir that up real nice with just a little wooden spoon. Get all those dry ingredients kind of mixed together. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add three-fourths cup of warm water. I want the water to be warm. And then just go ahead and stir that in there. With that spoon, kind of stir that up. Also, let's go ahead and add about two tablespoons of some olive oil. and then continue stirring that up real good. Mix all of that together. See how beautiful that basil starts to make that look if you add that dried basil in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and start to add a little more flour. Now this is gonna take about a cup. It could take a little more, maybe even close to one and a half. Probably not one and a half, but about a cup. And we're just gonna gradually start to add that in. Just a little bit at a time. And then continue stirring. Just add a little bit and get that mixed in. And then we're gonna continue to do so. A little more. And what you want to do is actually mix this until it's really a, like a rubber band or, or kind of elastic-like. It's gonna start pulling itself away from the bowl here eventually, hopefully. So we're just gonna add a little more flour and then just go ahead and stir that in. And then it should start to change its form just a little bit. And hey, get a little flour mess on this table is just fine. We're gonna be putting it on the table for the rolling anyway. So let's go ahead and continue and gradually add some more flour. I'm just gonna stir that up really good. See how it's starting to pull away a little bit. I don't think it's quite there yet. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. A 
and stir that in. Look at that, starting to rip, look at that. Now it is starting to come apart of the bow, starting to let go of the bow a little bit, if you notice there. And you see how it's still not quite forming a ball just yet. So I'm just gonna add just a dash more flour. Don't wanna overdo it, a little at a time. I can't tell you the exact amount. You've just got to do it until you see it form like you want it to form. And I'm going to say it's pretty close to there. Let me go ahead and roll that into a ball. So it's going to be a little sticky as well. So what you want to do is just go ahead and add some flour all around it. Just kind of get it really good and floury. We're just going to kind of let that flour coat the, around that like that. Try to get it into a ball best as we can. Then what you're going to do is I've already pre-greased a bowl with olive oil right here. So this right here has olive oil in it and you could just kind of coat it with olive oil and um, maybe a little bit too much. I'm going to pour that out. Don't necessarily want it running all up in there, but if you just put some in here and brush it around, and then after you've coated this with flour, we're gonna put this in here and then go ahead and just get that covered in that olive oil. Just get your pizza dough covered all up in that olive oil nicely. And once you've done that, we're just gonna go ahead and cover this with a towel or you can use um, some plastic saran wrap or something, but I've actually just got a towel just like that. And we're just going to keep that covered up for about 30 minutes now, and then we'll come back and that hopefully will have doubled in size. So uh, I'll be back in 30 minutes. So it has been about 30 minutes now, so we're going to go ahead and raise up the towel and see. Look at there how much it has grown. Should be pretty close to double in size, so it looks like it is. Looks really nice. So what I wanna do now is just go ahead and remove this and on a clean place, a table or something, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little flour. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drop that right there. Just get that floured up. If you feel like it needs a little more flour, you can add it so that it starts to really become doughy and then we're gonna knead it just a few times. Just add a little more flour on top of it. And all through it. And then let's just go ahead and knead that a few times, three, four, five times. And now you've got a nice done piece of pizza dough. So we'll just get a rolling pin out, or if you don't have one, a glass or something, just to kind of roll this out. And you can see that's pretty big pizza dough. So. Uh, depending on the size of your pan, you're most likely probably going to be able to make two pizzas with this. So we'll cut that in half here in a minute. Uh, but in the meantime, now that we got the pizza dough pretty much ready, let's go ahead and start cooking. Uh, if you want to cook some uh, sausage or something, that's what I'm going to do right now. So I've been preheating the uh, skillet for about 15, 20 minutes while that was going ahead and rising. It's a good time if you're using a cast iron skillet to go ahead and start preheating it. And then I've got some uh, regular sausage here. Any kind of sausage will do, sweet, Italian, regular, whatever you got. I'm gonna cook that up in here uh, for the pizza, one of the pizza toppings. So let's get that done. So this has been preheating for a good 20 minutes or so. It's ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of avocado oil in here.
and just mix that around. Can add some sausage. Once you get the sausage good, just go ahead and transfer that someplace else. Now once you've got the majority of the sausage out of that, just go ahead and grab your pizza dough. Like I said before, I went ahead and cut them in half and just kind of sized them down a little bit. You might be able to get three pizzas out of this, but we're just going to go ahead and make one uh, right here. And all you want to do is go ahead in this hot pan, just go ahead and lay your pizza dough in it. You can see how mine's actually overlapping. I'm just going to lay that in there. You can just fold these back in. And if you get too short, you can go ahead and push them out as well. Be some thicker spots, but we're just going to go ahead and try to push that down. And now we're going to take something and really smooth that out. Okay, now the resi uh, residual heat, don't want to touch that too much, is already cooking that crust. And if we go ahead and look in, we'll see if it's brown in any. Not quite yet. So what we want to do is go ahead and turn this back to the stove for just a moment. Just on medium, we just kind of want to brown the bottom of that. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and set the oven to preheat at 425. And get the oven preheated. Well, that goes ahead and sets on there for about three minutes or so. And after a few minutes, we're just going to go ahead and take that off the stove and start getting the pizza ready. So, so the first thing I want to do is just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it. You can take a brush. You can take a brush or a spoon, just kind of get that all over the pizza. This is actually raised a little bit since we put it in there. So you want to go ahead and make some holes in here. And then build your pizza. Just go ahead and throw a little marinara pizza sauce or marinara sauce. I'm using actual a marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce. I'm just go ahead and put that all on there. And now it's time for the toppings. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, first of all, some mozzarella cheese on the bottom. Pepperonis. And some mushrooms. Black olives. I have some sliced onion. And even a little bit of sliced garlic. Throw in one more layer of a little bit of cheese on top. And of course, add whatever toppings you want. Want some ham on it, want some uh, pineapples on it, Canadian bacon, whatever you want, add that to it. Once your temperature gets to 425, we'll place that in the oven for 10 to 14 minutes till it's nice golden brown. I 
forgot to add the sausage, so I'm gonna add that to it now. There's a little sausage on there as well, and then now we'll let it cook for about 10 to 14 minutes. All right, it's been about 14 minutes, and look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this right on out of here. And just look how beautiful that looks. Now notice it don't look perfect. It shouldn't look perfect. It should look homemade. And just look at how wonderful that looks. Let's go ahead and see if we can take it off this pan and go ahead and cut into it. It is, it looks amazing. Let's go ahead and try to get that out of that pan. See if it comes out easily. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to... Look at there. A little bit come right up. Slide right on off. Look at that. It smells amazing. Let's go ahead and talk about it while we go ahead and have a bite of it. Just look at that. So good. Oh my. Mm. Seriously, you have to try this cast iron skillet pizza. Put whatever toppings you want on it, but this is the Supreme JB Cook style. Oh man. That is incredible. Mm. Honestly, you have got to try that really really good the pizza dough is amazing uh, then the toppings and everything it just come out absolutely wonderful so that pizza dough i did in this video was definitely enough to make two pizzas so here's the second one and i really loaded this one that may even look better than the first one look at that i loaded that one down because everybody said add extra garlic the garlic is amazing in this i went ahead and just loaded it and it is unbelievable. So if you have two uh, pizzas you want to make and one nine inch uh, cast iron skillet, that's what that is, a nine inch, nine inch cast iron skillet, and you just follow this recipe and it will make two of them. And while you can go ahead and buy the pre-made crust, if you follow everything in this video, that crust is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Go ahead and pick a video that you see on the right of your screen right now. If you want to see more videos of JB Cooks, you guys have a great day.